I got James Bond on camera. I got James Bond on camera. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> like throughout the state of New York. And yo. If you oh, boy. Team Speed Demon reporting live from the 2023 New York Auto Show. How are you? You see what we got going on here? Because I don't. That's why I read the sticker on the side. Apparently, it is the TRX. Roar. Are these either? That doesn't happen. Oh, oh key, no key. Started key. in the showroom. Right then. Off to it, and it says it's it's like eighty nine thousand dollars or something, right? You get about. Okay, but does it actually cost that much, or is it going to be like a hundred thousand dollars over a sticker? Well, this is a familiar frame, isn't it? Right then. So we got that thing is right. Here we are, New York Auto Show, twenty twenty three. Somehow or another. We have gotten these badges again. Insane. But nevertheless, we're here. It's been, uh, what, four or five years in the making. We're here. Starting off with the fan favorite, the middle class fancy. I want to go to my son's baseball game, but I also want to race everyone with their Corvette on the road. The 2023 6.2 liter supercharged, and he ain't happy about that, supercharged Ram TRX. Does this one have like the half like flap gate trunk opening I thing? I think it might, I don't know. I don't know, we'll but go. anyway, zero to, si <laughs> zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, 702 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque with scratches on the center console when you first buy it as well. When you get in here, the first thing you'll notice is that the interior is the same. It's the same. Start button, the go fast button. It tops out at 118. I'd imagine that's governed so before you leave the dealership there's probably some secret menu thing similar to starbucks where you, you can say whatever and they'll be like oh this guy knows just hook up their mopar thing and bam 150. should you do 150 in this car absolutely Touch it's got there. cup holders though and then it's got on the it's got what tailgating at the giants game if i hop up on this is it okay i don't know honestly i mean we might get uh, I, on, bro, oh how let's am I the, able to do that that's i don't not great it's soft it's meant for the baja the baja and such do you know what would happen if this thing goes over a jump at the baja baja and such what parkway north i think it's fine for you you weigh about 90 pounds in comparison to the last video Look. cut to the Five it's years not ago. Even real crinkle, like what? What's material? real? Can it's you tell plastic. us what? Oh, that is plastic. Look, That's not real crinkle. Me. I don't know what real crinkle is. But this ain't it. You work in Long Island. You know what crinkle is. No, they know what rust is. Look how bright this light is. Sponsored by Big Daddy Stellantis. Anyway. Dodge, right? The most powerful production street legal half ton pickup ever in its class. So why don't they just say that? Ugh. Oh, that's comfy, actually. Hop in, hop in. There, wow. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. Oh, All right, I've been, I started off a little rough. I didn't realize this was going on here. You got legroom for days. This is like... Uh, this is nice. Okay, this is nice. And you got like room when you're seven foot five. Uh, although the interior is probably gonna fall apart the day after you take it out of the dealership, there's space back here. USB 3.1s and USB Cs so that you all 12 of your kids can charge their phone and play Xbox. Wow. United States plug though. Look a little closer. They even got little little holsters there to fit your in Remington 308. Big cup holders, because they already know everyone's saying super size me at the McDonald's. You covered it all up, you know? Why? Look at all of this unutilized space. ECM is still, it only gets boiling hot. And a replacement, I'm sure, is, is it can't be that expensive. Maybe like 12 grand. Let me ask you this. Give one of these to Ridgewood PD. Oh no, that would go really bad. Yes, it would. Well, we're not that professional. Stellantis. Where are my extortionist GM friend who spent money that was supposed to go towards an EV on a new pushrod V8? God damn it. I'm excited about it. Half of the world is seething about it. I don't care about your battery. I care about the pushrod V8 that they developed. Stellantis. Can you believe it? It's not stolen yet. It's not. <laughs> We don't need the key. We just need an iPad and 30 seconds with the ECU where we can take it home. We're really giving people, like, I think we're, I don't know if the people who develop these things are just like insanely passionate or if they're overly optimistic about people's driving capabilities. Who the f is gonna drive? Me, I'm gonna buy it. I mean, I'm not buying it for $100,000 over sticker. Holy shit. 
level of performance. Hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. Everybody that passes it is gonna say they're gonna buy it. They're not. They're gonna bitch out on the pre-order, whatever. Hundred G's get you a thousand horsepower these days, apparently, but you're not gonna find one for that price. You're gonna find one for what did you say? Double stick. Two hundred, two ten, two twenty. All right. Wow. Multi-piece. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're now we're making some sense. Feel this. This is what what they put the fake crank shit on their truck beds, but they put. Oh, the they real got the real crank shit, shit on here. Well, but at, oh, and the carbon lip. Dang, huh? What is going on here with the I'm bead lock and the lip? I don't know how much more needs to be said about these because everybody on Instagram is a professor when it comes to these. What we're looking at is the parachute. Does this come with it? Yes, it, it comes with the Stop. parachute. It comes with the parachute. I saw that there's also a, a hydro brake. Yeah. Or is that for the cable for the parachute? No, that's for all the kids at Wawa. If you're from Lodi, New Jersey, and you want to hang out at Wawa on a nightly basis past the hour of 11 p.m. and do donuts nuts on Essex Street and get a bunch of tickets for no reason. This is the car for you. Yeah, about that time. You know we have to cover this. Every electric car has like one of these. They all look like the one. When we get to Hyundai, that's fire. I can't say it's not. What do you mean? What? It's fire. That looks like it's from AutoZone. Okay. I don't know. It would be a lot cooler if it had a V8. DeLorean. Hey, this is the cartel version. Look, it says cartel on the wheels. So you're telling me that one day people are going to be driving around in their living room. Just like that. <laughs> Floor is lava, isn't it? It's actually tripping me out a little bit. Can you walk on it? They got pyrotechnics and everything. I love that. We have a catwalk and a whole damn setup. But guess what we don't have any longer? Good looking STIs. These are the cars that every kid starts their car rental business with, with no <laughs> inclination of where the funding came from. Now, it's an R34. Do you know a car? Yeah, Paul Walker in Fast and Furious. Do you know? No, I love them. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Check, Nothing. Check, check. I, I barely know well, anything about it and I can't complain about it. I'm not going to complain about it because... Oh, watch out. Someone's on the camera right now talking about this car. Six-speed manual transmission. This thing is fast. It's fun. And it's a nice relaxing drive as well. Manual gearbox. Good job, Nissan. Love the car. You ain't a bunch of is like the rest of these manufacturers. Good one on ya. I love it. They're not daily drivers. It's beautiful, but they're not daily drivers. If you're trying to drive it every day, it probably means that you bought it and it's your only car, so you have to drive it every day. Not that I daily. Get out of here. Where's the V8 they spent all the money on? This is what we're here for. Not batteries, Energizer, Duracell. We're looking at, look at this, billion dollars, billion dollars, billion dollars, billion dollars. Not the battery. I love what they have done. I absolutely love what they have done. What is there for me to talk about other than the pushrod V8 they made with money that wasn't supposed to go towards it? Pretty much all the other manufacturers are like, oh, that's what's on the agenda for the next three to five years? Okay, and they produce garbage. But not them, no. No, they spent. Well, they spent their money wisely and made a big ass honker V8. We spent the money for EV elsewhere. Oh right, they just revealed the new Mustang. It's the Mustang Dark Horse. Get yourself one of them jerry cans when you buy this car. Get yourself one of them sleeping pouches. You get the Bronco stuff. Bronco no merch. One... Get your Bronco no, merch. No, no. Get in the Bronco. What was this for now? The nostalgia. Oh, it's got a white claw holder. It does. Uh, this is like an oh shit handle and a half, bro. Like you are making a mistake if the driver is grabbing this. That my, my years of working on What the f is going on. Oh, that's really cool. Tell me how we get up there. Become giga investors in their companies. And that's how we get up there, where all the rich people are laughing at us. Team Speed Demon here at the auto show. <laughs> Tested this in multiple storms. I can tell you, it'll be okay. All right, let's let's free rides, free rides. 
How we doing, guys? Good. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, how are ya? So welcome to Camp Jeep guys, my name is Andre. So this is a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubica 4xe, which is the plug-in hybrid version. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So you got a 33 inch tires, so you got a ski plate, so you got your sidebars. Very capable. Where is the 390? Let's go, we got one more to go. This is the Cloudiator. This is for when you pull up to Roots Steakhouse. Now the 392 is the one that, that I would really consider getting. I like that. Yep. Oh yes, 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 yes. How you doing, sir? Being a daily driver around here in New York City. You could definitely do it. There's a lot of potholes. <laughs> and also, it's fun to drive in the snow. Now, these are offset. You're going to feel that full suspension travel. Nice. Oh, that's comfy. I like that. That's got that some good nice. lift. We're getting to it. All right, tell me about it. Brand Factory started about four or five years ago and we've been doing this for cool clients. The Adam LZ car actually came to us from a friend, uh, TJ, who won the car. And he's over in Japan and he was nice enough to ship the car over to us. And uh, this car to my left is uh, Chef Mike Castillo, the winner of uh, Chopped on Food Network and Guy's Groceries. And he picked this one up from us as well. And so far, so good. We're having a blast over here with you guys. Thank you for coming. Yes. On no particular Friday night past 11 p.m., you might find yourself on the Belt Parkway or the Cross Bronx Expressway exceeding Mach 10 speeds. And that is because you're probably driving one of these insane, souped up, well done. That's insane. Cruising along, doing your thing, lane split earring wheel on one hand, cell phone in the other. And then you're just cutting through the turns. Tagging up your post with no Hesse on there, and then boom, you hit the divider on the Throg's Neck Bridge. Scooter. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's cool. Dozen. Let's get going. One chicken nugget. That's all I want. Just one chicken nugget. That's all I need. I'll be fine today. That's all I'm allowed to have is one chicken nugget. Phenomenal. All right, I'm gonna follow you. I'm Team Speed Demon. Nice to meet you. Team what? Team Speed Demon. Team Speed Demon. Yeah. No, I pulled you over. No, I pulled you over. No, I pulled you over. Nope. I have no idea why you pulled me over. I don't want to look at anything. We've been here all day, and this is the first That's thing it. that Alex is actually genuinely excited about. Correct. Now this we were not invited to. Here we are at Again. the New York Battery Wait. Show. The New York Battery Show exhibits from Energizer, Duracell, Family Dollar, you name it. I don't know how to open it. 
This is actually, oh, it's a concept. I got excited for a second. This is the, the right. they got, they got seats. Didn't get the dinner invite, that didn't happen. Didn't get the other basement boozer invite, that didn't happen. This, Hyundai's the winner. And I just got an email, it says that the Ionique 6, or Ionic, however you wanna pronounce it, got car of the year or something for the auto show. So hats off to them. This punch is flying, by the way. And it's very, it's very strong. You do like, what are the, the POV cheers thing? Is that bloggers, oh. <laughs> Look at the party that I didn't get invited to. Oh look, the party we didn't get invited to. Check it out, the party we didn't get invited to. May I have a uh, falafel over rice platter, please? All in my bag, though. No, you're, you're all good. You're all good. He's my he's what I meet him. No, we need to look into that. So what would you rate the show one out of ten? I'd say seven, but more so leaning to a six point five. Now, it was organized well. I think it was. But I'll tell you where the point deductions come in. One, we didn't get invited to the party. Two, my favorite manufacturer booths looked like they were set up in about 45 seconds. Three. We, we didn't get invited to the party. So that means that we couldn't get alcohol. Four. There weren't as many cars this year, as many exhibits. Five. We didn't get invited to the party. Six. My favorite car manufacturers fumbled it. Seven. I don't have a seven.